Good evening, children. We're here to talk to you today about fear. One of your philosophers said the only thing one should truly fear is fear itself. This is the truest thing you've ever been told. Because when you fear fear, you become a very afraid person indeed. Your life is consumed with this all-consuming, crippling fear. It gets up inside you like a nest of ants trying to gnaw their way out. And when they do, they're going to spill everywhere. They're going to ruin the carpet. They might even touch the walls. And we cannot touch the walls. If the walls are wet, they will use it. They will use that moisture to take over and make themselves more real than they are. We have to keep them dry. Now, in a similar vein to last, to our last episode's exercise, I'm going to pass the hat around, and both of you are going to tell me your worst fears, purely so we know how we can better combat. It may be hard, but it'll be worth it in the end. Pain is good. My worst fear would, would definitely be waking up and finding that my beautiful 1984 KitchenAid is no longer in powder blue. <laughs> Blue is, of course, a fantastic colour. We may well remember, in the early 2000s, the stylings of the pop band Blue, Anthony Costa, Duncan James, Lee Ryan, Simon Webb. Those four men have earned a free pass to heaven, no matter what they do in the rest of their lives. Their art stands on its own. Especially that one song about being in a court. I rest my case. Now you, your worst fear. My worst fear? Yes. My worst fear is not being able to fear. My fear is fading. Is that fading... Is the fear fading or is your fear? Literally fading. Like, out of existence. So there we have it. We have people here who would rather live with all consuming fear than not exist. Where is your conviction? What is the mast you nail your colours to? Write, a, write an answer in the comments below. If you're lucky, you might see it sooner than you think. <laughs>